Welcome to Blackboard Discussion on Monopoly number six. As this says up here, we're going to talk about monopolies and a situation where they're actually losing money. So a simple enough diagram to draw, you have a marginal cost line like this. And really what happens is you equate marginal cost with marginal revenue. That gives you your maximizing number, like down here, we'll call it 20 or 206. And when you come up to find out your revenue, you come up to your demand curve like this. That gives you your price. We'll say it's $22. Well, what does a loss look like? It ends up being where your average total cost is up here somewhere, like this, above your revenue price, $22 here. So we would go up, we'd sell this amount of goods at $22, but when you come up here to the average total cost and come over here, what's going on? Well, your revenue's down here, your cost is up here and then this particular rectangle right here ends up being a loss. So not unlike pure competition, the monopoly diagram can be used to show a situation where monopolies lose money. It doesn't happen a lot, but it can happen. And uh, it's got to do with a, a, a demand, you know, and the cost structure, etc. And when things happen like this, and over time when they keep losing money, you would expect a monopoly to get out of the business. Uh, let's consider a particular case right now in the press. It's a case where uh, we see a lot of news going on about a company called AIG. And with AIG, I think I talked about it in my, in my video, in AIG, you might consider this situation going. They don't quite have a monopoly, but they have a lot of market power in certain insurance things. What happens when they have a loss? They come out of business, etc. But if Monopoly's a big company like AIG, if something's big and it affects the market dramatically, then maybe what's going to have to happen is the government's going to have to take care of this loss and give them some kind of bailout. Possibly that's what's going on. I don't know if it's fair to say AIG is a monopoly, but there you go. But this is the loss diagram for a monopoly. Can happen. That's the main point. Of course, if you have a profit, the average total cost is down here. But get ready for some questions possibly about this particular diagram. But look what's happening still. Still they're under allocating resources. Still they're not at their minimum average total cost, etc. But uh, there you go. I'm not going to say any more. That's the end of Monopoly. Thanks for watching. Bye.